Oh hey, if you wanna do shrooms, you're gonna love today's episode. <laughs> okay, but how cute, oh my God. This is Laugh Cry DIY, I'm your girl Katie, and today we are doing a very lazy girl DIY. As we know, everyone in the decor world is doing shrooms lately. We've seen mushroom lamps, mushroom incense holders, mushroom jars, and I also wanna get high on mushrooms, but I wanted to do something a little bit different today. And I was walking around my local Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store, and I found these bowls. <gasps> Uh-oh. Simple metal bowls, which look exactly like mushroom caps, and then I instantly knew what I wanted to do. We're gonna make a two-tiered little plant stand. You guys. Okay, but how cute, oh my God. Okay, bye. Today's craft is so simple, so easy, so cute, so cheap. I almost didn't do it because I was like, this is too easy, but you know what? We're cheap whores and we're easy whores. Step one. Two glasses from the dollar store. Different heights because we're gonna stagger the plant stand. I got two little steel bowls that are perfect little mushroom caps. And we're gonna lightly sand. And we are laying a base foundation with a satin white primer. Um, this stupid cup had like printing on it, right? Like French phrases and stuff. And um, it is so difficult to cover up. I've sprayed inside, I've sprayed outside. Moment of hell on the easiest craft. Okay, this has taken three days and about 15 coats to cover. What I should have done is I should have taken acetone and use that to remove all of the pattern. But I didn't think it was gonna be that big of a problem. But luckily we have stems and we have our little mushroom caps and now it's time to prep both because we're not done. So let's start with our little mushroom caps. And of course we wanna give mushrooms their iconic look. Um, we're gonna do the little polka dot tops. And you can just get circle stickers for these or you can be lazy like me and put painter's tape on wax paper and then cut out little circles and then re-put them on the wax paper nicely. I'm gonna use my large dots as well as these small stickers just to do a little bit of an irregular pattern. Oh baby, these are so cute. Today's very exciting colors are lime green, pink, kind of like my shirt colors. I know I'm wearing a dare shirt and making mushrooms. No one's talking about this and I'm gonna talk about it. In the paint community, the selection of pink spray paint in stores is quite dismal. And I had to go to the graffiti spray paint store um, because they understand the importance of a beautiful range of colors. And we have to change that. We're gonna work on the bases. Now I could keep them simple, plain white, but I wanted to add a little bit of kind of texture and dimension to them. I have a little daughter. Um, and you could use a toothpick, whatever. I'm just taking the tiny little bit of acrylic brown paint and we're just gonna do little uneven dots all around to add a little more oomph to these bases. And I'm going back in with an even tinier dotter. I think I almost want it to look like those like enameled camping mugs. Do you know what I'm talking about? This is the pick. Ooh, speckled, cute. Okay, let's let these dry. Well, I just realized my mic was off for the last 10 minutes I filmed. Um, so I used E6000 glue to get these back on. When I peeled off the stickers, there was some paint that came off. So I'm gonna touch those up with just some white house paint, but these are now drying, but we are gonna come back with your very big reveal. Thank you guys for getting shroomed with me on this very special episode. Um, this is a super easy dollar store craft that took me a lot longer than it should have. 
If you guys see fun, trendy decor that you're interested in that you want me to dupe, leave comments, DM me links, DM me your nudes, AKA the crafts you're working on. And until next time, stay high on color.